it's your girl Ty and today we are back with another video now didn't post yesterday because you know your girl turned 18 I know I know I'm getting old but how are you guys doing any any like is anybody else celebrating their 18th birthday indoors if so comment down below tell me how it was but Today is another situation. The idiots are back, okay? The idiots of the internet. And you won't believe the stuff I have found on the web, okay? You know what? I'm not even gonna waste any more time. We just gotta get this over with. It's a girl Ty, and today we are back with another video, okay? Now, good news, everybody. Your girl hit 60 subscribers. Oh my goodness. I'm becoming famous. PewDiePie, stop quaking. Um, yeah. Thanks for everything. For helping me out and, you know, getting me on this, like, getting me started on this journey. Because, like, your girl finna be famous. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna be famous. Anyway, um... So, today's video, we are going to be reacting to, it's not a scary video, but it's like natural disaster scary. Now, the video is titled, the video is titled, How Big Do Tsunamis Get? Now, for a person who lives in, you know, uh, LA, California, you know, right, right on the edge there, uh, this is something, well, I don't know if this is something people, Californians, think about a lot, but I certainly do think about, like, tsunamis, and not too long ago we had an earthquake, so I thought it was just fun to share uh, this uh, video so we could, you know, I don't know, learn something. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, and this channel is by The Real Life Lore. Now, He's basically a channel who, uh, like, ex like, it's a very educational channel that, like, basically explains, like, natural disasters and, you know, it breaks down things. It's, I think you should go subscribe. I'll leave the, um, channel link in the description below, but let's just get to it. Tsunamis are some of the most powerful and deadliest forces of nature. Yep. Within recent memory, you may recall both the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and mm -hmm. 2011 Japan tsunami, uh, both of which see? resulted in nope. catastrophic damage and loss of life. The Indian Ocean tsunami happened after a massive earthquake struck here in the Indian Ocean. The earthquake itself released more energy than every single explosive detonated in the entire Second World Dang. War. Dang. bombs. This oh enormous amount of energy created a tsunami that reached heights of 30 meters high in some places, meters. where about okay. the height of 17 people stacked on top of okay, each other. Okay, the waves smashed into Indonesia. That's kind of not East too bad. The coast of Africa, punching as deep as two kilometers inland from the coast in some places. Mm. As you can see from photos like this one, the damage in these places was often extensive. Oh, the tragedy claimed man. the lives of around 250,000 people, making it the deadliest tsunami in all of history. Mm. While the 2011 Japan. Okay, so. So during these tsunamis or whatever, have you, you you seen the movies uh San Andreas in like 2012? Like you know the people who die who actually die. Do you feel like you would be one of the people who like? Do you feel like you would be a part of the casualties? Tsunami like and what would you do to survive? Like what would y'all do? Tsunami was also generated by an earthquake that created waves as high as 40.5 See, meters, California, just about we have five earthquake. meters shorter than the Statue of Liberty. Oh, that came okay. slamming into the Japanese east coast, traveling up to 10 kilometers inland away from the coast. As you can see from photos like this, that look like something struck. Okay, so yeah, that's a lot of water. To the endless ocean, the economic cost to Japan was enormous. An I wouldn't worry about the cost. I would worry about the cost of people's lives. The entire GDP of South Africa. But these are what are called regular tsunamis, and there is an entire other class of gigantic waves that are simply called yep. mega tsunamis. Okay, Unlike a regular tsunami that is created by an earthquake, a mega tsunami is usually created when a massive amount of material suddenly falls into water, which displaces that water into a mm -hmm. huge wave. The most tragic and possibly terrifying instance of this happening in recent
recent the girl little, back in 1963 you know, here in Italy, it. just 100 kilometers north of Venice. The Italian government and a construction company were building what at the time was going to be the largest dam on Earth. The only problem was that they were building Come this dam now. with a huge water reservoir the size of a large lake right next to one of the most unstable mountains on the planet. Can we just Before let, let leave nature the alone? Dam, there were several Why are we trying to build on everything? other signs that there could be a catastrophe coming, but rather than heed the numerous warning signs, the Italian government actually decided to sue the few journalists reporting on the issue for, quote, undermining the social order. Order. The government and company continued to ignore all the warning signs until it was obvious that the mountain was actually going to collapse directly into the dam's okay. reservoir. See? The engineers calculated the landslide that would likely occur, lowered the water in the reservoir to what they believed was a safe level, and then actually stood on top of the dam the night that they expected the landslide to occur what? to watch it all go down. Come on the now, that's not was, smart. The landslide ended up being over ten times more powerful than what their calculations had predicted. This is a view of that mountain today. This right here used to be the reservoir and all the land that's there you see you cannot outsmart mother nature okay if you guys are you know if the world is meant to happen like this is meant to end it's gonna happen you can't stop it and we we're getting off topic sorry y'all <laughs> now came crashing off the mountain from these areas that are now exposed white rock y'all really care about this part of you want me to skip ahead like the so where you know you see the San Andreas completely filled the entire reservoir and it generated a wave 250 meters high that flew over the top yep. of the dam and into the like, villages below the wave was almost mm -hmm. the same height as the Transamerica building in San Francisco for some reference and caused an impact crater 60 meters deep and 80 meters wide when oh, it slammed no. into the ground on the other side of the dam. If you were standing from this angle looking up at the dam at the exact moment that the wave came over it, the entire sky that you see in this picture would be completely covered by water. This you know what? I wouldn't even... Longarone, which before the mega I wouldn't even try to run. I would just die because, like... There's no way I'm outrunning those fa that fast water. Like, there's no way. Tsunami looked like this, but afterwards looked like this, completely mm. destroyed. Yeah. Around 2,000 people lost their lives in the accident, oh, but it's not that's actually not the largest bad. mega tsunami even in recent history. That distinction would have to go to a mega tsunami that happened here in Latuya Bay, Alaska, back in 1958. A powerful earthquake caused a massive landslide to occur here at the backside of the bay. Okay, they now that I feel like now that we have um our view of a tsunami, we need to know how we're gonna survive a tsunami. Okay, so you know what? Let's just go to a video that basically tells us. How to survive San Andreas. All Californians, listen up because y'all, we gotta take notes. We overdo. So, okay. Okay, this is how to survive a tsunami according to science. Take notes, y'all, because, you know, You're I'm about to save your life. Not a worry in the world. The sun bronzing your skin, sand trickling between your toes, the sound of waves. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Where did all the water go? Did you see it going out? Oh, Better act quickly. No. In a matter of minutes, you may be underwater. Here's how to survive a tsunami according to science. Tsunamis are triggered by intense underwater activity, yeah. usually an earthquake or an underwater volcanic we eruption. Got. These events displace huge volumes of water, pushing it up from the ocean's floor to its surface. But when gravity pulls it back down, all this built-up energy is released outwards, forming deadly waves that grow stronger as they ripple across the ocean. A tsunami's waves can be 100 kilometers long and sometimes taller than 30 meters. Uh-uh, no. They can travel across See, uh, whole that... oceans, moving at the speed of a jet airplane. So with a such speed, strength, and stamina, uh -huh. how does anyone stand a chance? Exactly. How Even in a tsunami you. hazard zone, you can still survive if you know what to do. The first step to survival is to be able to identify okay, the early uh, take signs notes. of a tsunami. The Pacific Ocean is home to volatile tectonic activity, which explains why seven... And that is why California, the, the Pacific Ocean, yeah, we're there. So, I don't want to hear y'all saying, oh... It would be less likely to happen, blah, 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 because when it does happen, I'm going to be... Y'all welcome. You're welcome. 5% of the world's volcanic eruptions and 90% of the world's earthquakes occur in the Pacific. Exactly. We're there. disturbances are the reason why 85% of all tsunamis happen in the Pacific Ocean. 
In most cases, oh an gosh, earthquake comes me before anxiety. a tsunami. So if you're near the coast and you experience an earthquake, protect yourself from that first. Mm -hmm. But once the shaking stops, move to higher ground as quickly as possible. The beach will grow bigger. Run the other way. An early sign of an impending tsunami is that the water along the coast will recede. It pulls back and exposes the sea floor. Do but not how go far to the beach to investigate. Goes. You'll only be putting yourself at risk for when the water surges back. Instead, head in the opposite direction. Try to get as far as three and a half kilometers from the ocean or 30 meters above sea level to ensure your safety. Mm -hmm. Get to the highest elevation possible. Tsunamis travel quickly, and you may not have enough time See, to look, clear the hazard Imagine zone. that coming at y'all. What would y'all do? For a tall building with a sturdy concrete foundation. If you see one nearby, run inside and get to the roof as quickly as possible. If you can't make it to a building in time, your best bet is to grab onto something and hold on. Though that might not sound very practical, hold the eye roll for a moment. In the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, an Indonesian woman was finally rescued after holding onto a palm tree for five days straight. Dang. Well, it isn't ideal. If you That's the lore right there. That time, is the lore right there. You need to find something to hold on to. As the tsunami moves inland, it will sweep tons oh, of debris no. along with it. This can be very dangerous as the accumulation of debris traveling at high That's speeds real footage? become fatal obstacles for anyone who's caught in the current. However, many yeah, that's real footage, y'all. This is like real footage. Attached roofs or holding on tightly to floating cars or other large objects. Of course, if you've made it this far, your troubles aren't over yet. Oh God, a really? Isn't one wave, but a series of waves known as a tsunami wave train. Waves may be anywhere from five minutes apart to an hour apart. And be aware that the first wave that hits isn't always the strongest. So even when you it think couldn't it's be any over, worse. Mother Nature was like, until you hold my wig. Officials. Like, come on now. It goes without saying, tsunamis are terrifying. And when a 30 meter wave is hurtling towards you at 800 kilometers per hour, you're probably feeling pretty helpless. Yep. But have faith that. in Thank science, you. trust empirical research, and you'll see there's always a way out. Well, oh my goodness, that is crazy because I live right there you know the pacific ocean you can go to the beach right now i actually got like some stuff to go to the beach and now this has got me like you know irritated paranoid <sighs> you guys i think it's coming so if you learned anything from this video make sure to give a like and oh yeah i'll link this video in the description below too i'm not gonna take credit that's not my job okay if you're not already subscribed you already know what to do tiktok go away okay um thank you for the subscribers and i plan to do a face reveal once i hit maybe a hundred so you go you're gonna see your girls um your my uh ugly mug okay okay i'll see you guys bye